Yo, what's up? Duff here. You are looking at the Max Find Max 6 electric skateboard. Yes, an electric skateboard. It's been a long time since I reviewed an electric skateboard, but the fine folks at Max Find reached out to me and asked me if I could uh, review the product, and they sent me this board free of charge, just uh, full disclosure, to investigate and see what I think about it. It is an interesting looking board, right? I, I've owned several electric skateboards in my time, but I have never owned one that looks quite like this. This has 105 millimeter cloud wheels on it. And they are, they look like uh, almost the tires you would see on like a remote control car or something. They're pretty darn cool. Okay, technical specs. This is the Max Find Max 6. Um, based on, and you can freeze this if you want to look at it closer. Uh, it says it weighs 12 kilograms. Uh, will support a rider up to 175 kilograms, uh, so you can be a real big boy and do this. Top speed rated at 42 kilometers an hour. It's pretty fast for a skateboard in my world. IP65 uh, water resistance rating. It's a 36 volt drivetrain uh, with 21, uh, 2170 batteries and a 10S2P configuration with a 10 amp hour battery. The char oh, talking about the charger. Yeah, the charger is uh, right here. This is a two amp, right here. It's a two amp charger. Comes with the board. And if you flip it over, you can see the dual belt drive motors. And uh, right here is your power button and your charge port. And this is where your, and this is where your battery lives. So on the remote, I was just messing with the remote a little bit. I have not charged it. I've not done anything like that yet. So let's turn the let's turn the remote on, and then the display says disconnect. Just had to hold a little bit longer. If you look at the remote, I don't know how well you can see this. You can change the speed modes. You see this little number in the bottom. It goes one to four, depending on what number you're on. It controls the top speed. Uh, max is four. And when I did this, I let's see if I can do it with it on its back. I should be able to. The speedometer, I think, did read 42 kilometers an hour. So let's see if I can do this without it flying around on the table. 42, 43. Sounds uh, fast. The remote. Um, so as far as what comes in the box, you have the manual, you have the remote, you have the charger, you have a uh, USB cord to charge the remote and you have a multi-purpose tool to adjust the trucks uh, to your liking. When I felt them as is, uh, they felt rather tight to me, so I think I'm gonna need to loosen them up. It's interesting, the, the red and black treatment on, on these trucks, right? I've never seen a board with that, but that's kind of cool. So really at this point, it's just a matter of me going out and riding, uh, but it is dark outside, so that will be my task for tomorrow. I'll be back in a flash. Hey, welcome to the next day. I, uh, since uh, you saw me last, I fully charged the board. It wasn't that low. Fully charged the remote. So we're going to turn the remote on first. It is best practice. And then we're going to turn on the board. And I, now I'm showing the link. Now, I did mention that this has ambient lighting. Okay, according to the manual, it says that I double click the remote control power button to activate the ambient lights. So let's double click. Oh, there you go. Okay, nifty. So I wonder if it just cycles like that. Okay, they do work. I think it might just cycle because it doesn't mention, it does not mention changing the pattern. It just says double click again to turn them off. All right, so I've, I've done that part. Just wanted to go over some of the features more in detail. I'm on the MaxFind website right now, maxfind.com. Talking about the motors, the 900 watt two belt motors. It has a, as you saw in my test, it can go up to 42 kilometers an hour or 26 miles an hour, quite fast on an electric skateboard. Also, it has the Hobbywing version 6.0 uh, speed controller, very smooth acceleration and braking with the latest Hobbywing speed controller. I know with some of the electric skateboards I've owned in the past, low lower quality speed controllers result in poor uh, ride experience. They're, they're jerky jerky. So it, this has an upgraded speed controller. The deck, it's a U-shaped concave composite deck, 11 inches wide with a seven millimeter deep footwell. It guarantees stability on all terrain types. 
and the trucks 45 millimeter uh, 45 degree max 3 12 inch forged trucks has 95a bushings and this model that they show here and the model i have it has 105 millimeter uh, cloud wheels which allow it to handle more uh, dynamic terrain up here i did want to mention you, you see the the list price of 649 dollars again it talks about the top speed it estimates 31 miles of range that's uh, that would be uh, a lot for an electric skateboard much more than any skateboard i ever had and claims to have 30 percent the ability to climb at 30 percent grade best for long distance riding yeah i would say so and uh yeah smart control with an app i guess there's an app for this as well and i will have to look into that all right Welcome to my driveway. Uh, let me close this door. Now I've gone straight to the high speed mode, which is the, there's four modes in total. I have it right on the high speed mode, which uh, may be a mistake considering I have not ridden in a very long time. And I do have the truck tool in case I need it. Let's just see, let's see how this feels. Braking feels good. It's always interesting riding an electric skateboard with a selfie stick. So my plan is to uh, ride around here because this is designed to be a micro mobility vehicle, you know, with the claimed range of 31 miles and top speed of 26 miles an hour. Let's see how it feels out on the roadways. Okay, there is, there is an, oh boy. There is an onboard, speedometer trucks feel tight but it's probably good because that helps with stability at higher speeds this is a uh, 15 kilometers an hour and it feels plenty fast for me plenty fast cloud wheels feel stable okay. just let off the throttle and it does some minor regenerative braking all right we're doing a turn we're doing a turn a very gentle turn oh boy I just, I just, I dipped into the throttle a little bit and uh, yeah, I feel it. I feel it. Okay, just completed a very wide turn in that cul-de-sac you see behind me. Very wide, but that's okay. I mean, this is, this is different than a one wheel. Definitely different. It's nice though when you, when you uh, let off the throttle, it's a, it's a, because, because probably the better speed controller, it's a, it's a controlled deceleration, which is good. We're gonna brake, 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 we're braking. We're braking, we're gonna, should I try this? Uh, I'll try it. Oh boy. All right, we did that. But now I'm out in the middle of the street. Turning radius with the trucks this tight is not gonna be good. And plus I don't, I don't really trust myself either. So here we go. Get back in that bike lane. My, my plan is to do the um, the loop around Queens Park. Uh, there's a little bit of debris in the bike lane. Little stones I'm hitting. Another advantage of the big wheels is it is um, able to handle that without much issue. Oh yeah. Oh shit. I'm, I'm hitting some, uh, some more debris in this lane than I realized. All right, it's braking, 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 leaning. All right, here we go. All right, we are now turning. I had my, um, I shouldn't say this because I'm gonna jinx myself. The worst wipeout I've ever had on a PEV uh, was probably the one I had on my electric skateboard. Uh, I was riding down a Mockley Road and I hit a piece of metal while I was looking to the side, not paying attention. The board stopped on a dime and I launched myself off the board like Superman, landing on my right side with my with my right arm extended and if you look at my shoulders you can still see the end result like my I have a I ha my shoulders don't look the same anymore uh, because of that incident I don't think I broke anything but I definitely knocked some stuff out of alignment all right let's see how fast are we going here and right, that was up to whoa 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 don't don't go too aggressive there Sean I'm, I'm working with my left hand which I like to do things with my right hand normally most things I mean we're doing 26 uh, kilometers an hour according to the remote, and that feels just fine. See car headlights behind me. Well, pay attention. The uh, the sound coming from the motors are kind of cool. The dual belt-driven motors, and it's powerful. Like I, I'm only 
feathering into the throttle. I am not doing anything hard. Nothing hard or sudden. Because I just don't trust myself that much, but I'm now doing 28 kilometers an hour. Feeling a little better. Not great. Yeah, I can't imagine going 26 on this. That just would, I don't know. I guess like anything, you know, familiarity would make that less, less imposing. But right now I'm just happy to cruise here. Cruise and take these big gentle turns. All right, just got a little bit of a straightaway here. Okay, I got up to 31. 31 kilometers an hour on screen is what that translates to in miles per hour. I really do like the speed control of the way it feels. It feels like it's trying to keep you safe. Very gentle. All right, now I'm gonna add some braking in, braking in, braking in, braking in, braking in, okay. All right, not bad. Yeah, that, that's good. It, it doesn't, it doesn't snag you. It doesn't feel like someone threw a tow line on you when you're braking. Okay, a lot of shit in this bike lane. I guess I shouldn't swear since this is a, this is a video for Max Fine. Okay, doing about 30 again, but there is shit in this lane. 31, 32, I don't, I don't know. Did I bring my wallet? Oh, I brought my phone, okay. I think we're just gonna go over to uh, Wawa because I was gonna just buy a, a sandwich for, for dinner, so let's take the uh, Max 6 there, why not? Never never done that before. Unlike an EUC, waiting at a intersection is not a big deal. I'm just shooting straight across. I'm not doing anything crazy like going down with traffic, but here we go. Whoa. Kind of uh, getting some extra wheel or uh, board time in here. Some extra board time for some more familiarization because I'll be popping up on the sidewalk. These cloud wheels are a lifesaver for sure. You can get this board with the conventional, more conventional sized wheels, skateboard wheels. And I can tell you that some of the stuff I've already hit with the regular skateboard wheels, I could be, oh, like that. I would probably be on my ass. And um, I'm still rolling here. Except that, that turn there is not gonna be good. Come back, come back, come back. Yeah, I can't do a tight 90, at least not yet. All right, let's resume. Whoa, let's resume. Yeah, these um, sidewalk joints could be a little interesting, I don't know. Trend, shoo. All this texture shit. All right, here we go. Keep swearing. Why do I keep swearing? Too much swearing, okay. All right, I'll check in when we get to Wawa. I just want to comment the deck itself is comfortable and wide. I have size 13 feet and it, uh, it is very comfortable. And the slight concave feels good on your feet, so that's another positive. Operation uh, Tuna Sub Retrieval complete on the Max 6. And uh, it's, it's stuffed in my cargo pants. Cargo pants are like the best invention ever, aren't they? Heading back to the house. I said I wasn't going to do this, but I am. I'm out on the main roadway. No cars. Don't do this at home, kids. Braking, braking, braking. Yeah, brakes work, work really well. Just, just had to do a quick bail. I was trying to hurry up to beat traffic. Hit a sidewalk transition and it was a little wonky. And we got some, we got some sand. Oh boy, okay. Cloud wheel saved me again. Regular skateboard, that would be a mess. This part of the road is very smooth, feels very good. Board definitely is stable at speed, really, it really is. Thirty-four. And considering I haven't ridden an electric skateboard in so long, this is impressive. Yep, all right, I hit, whoa, whoa. I hit 35, <laughs> that's enough, that's enough. I didn't really know what to expect with this board, but um, it seems pretty damn solid. Breaking, breaking, breaking. I wouldn't even try that, no, that's all right. I'll try it, but I ain't gonna be able to do that. Oh, I did, wow. Thanks to the um, awesome cloud wheels. Okay, the next question is, can I manage the big, divot in front of my garage. 
Oh, wow, I did. I can't believe I didn't eat it. All right, break and stop. Nice. Okay, we are back. We are back. Safe and sound inside the house without a major incident. Makes me very happy. Uh, this board is really impressive. This is, this is, I've owned three electric skateboards and this is by far the most impressive that I've owned. Super stable with these cloud wheels. I never had a board with cloud wheels. I did have an all-terrain board, uh, but this feels better than the all-terrain board. Like I mentioned, it, it saves you when there are uh, small objects in a road that these can handle it without uh, causing a major problem. Great power, great speed, a nice size deck, even for someone with um, feet the size of mine, and you know, I'm almost 6'3", or I am 6'3". And, you know, I'm, I don't know, do I, should, do I need to do a range test? I won't do a range test in this video. Maybe I will, though. Uh, in another video, I'll do a range test just for the hell of it. I don't know. I think this would be fun to take to the Greenway, potentially, and see how it does there. Um, I didn't have to adjust the trucks at all. They are on the stiff side, but, I, but for stability at higher speeds, I feel much uh, safer with the trucks tighter than looser. So, yeah, so far, Max Fine Max 6 gets a double thumbs up for me. If you are interested in purchasing this board, I will include a link in the description below. Yeah, I guess, that, I guess that's it for now. I, I only had to do one video, but I think I will be doing several. And I, 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 like, I like this board enough to do that. It'd be fun to kind of ride at night too, right? With the, the ambient lights and all that kind of stuff. And that's all I have for now. Till next time, Duffman. This thing just sounds nasty, doesn't it?